Hi friends. If you want to check out Sophia Nygaard's and ColourPop lipstick collaboration collection, then please keep on watching. Hi, my name is Alicia. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Kinky Sweat stands for my kinky hair and sweat life. I'm a fitness professional who loves all things movement and beauty. If you want to check out what I do in between the makeups, you can head over to my Instagram. While I understand I am way out of the window of relevance in regards to the swatch video, this collection released way back in the beginning of October. I obviously missed the first drop. I missed the second restock. I think this was the third restock. And the second restock didn't happen until December. Sophia for me is like the last hope for like great YouTube content. Because back in the day, YouTube was a lot of blogging. It was a day in the live, take you along for the ride. Now it has become its own thing. It's very, of course, obviously very monetizable as my videos are, as you see. But for me, Sophia is just the one individual that I can watch without having to worry about controversy. She's just doing her own thing and it is excellent content. Specifically, in regards to her lipstick, she would do these experimental videos where she will melt all her lipstick colors and see what color she will end up with. She was very much intrigued by those types of projects. Not only would she melt all her lipsticks together, she would put together all her makeup and see what color she came up with because she was just very much, she's a curious being. And I appreciate that she takes other curious minds like mine along for the ride. Other things she would do, I feel like she kind of poked fun on influence culture by doing this. She would do Fashion Nova hauls and just kind of see if these clothes actually wear and feel how they look in an Instagram picture, if that translates into real life. Most of the time it didn't. She would buy like top rated Amazon items or like the lowest rated Amazon items to see what the deal was about. My favorite videos on her channel is when she does her historic fashion videos. She would connect to experts depending on the topic in the field and she would do a whole video about 70s fashion and then she would do the hair and the makeup and the clothes. But throughout the video, you will have snippets of history and information that just made it so informative. I'm a nerd when it comes to history in regards to fashion and makeup and how it related to the social economic times depending on the period I find it all so interesting and it's so great that she releases videos like these one of my favorites when she went to Japan with Tyler which I think at this time either they're about to get married or they're married already the cutest couple. He films her and helps her produce her videos. So although the production value is quite high, it's still very modest and just very low key, chill and relatable. So when I saw she was collaborating with ColourPop, this was like one of my most favorite collaborations of the year. No controversy surrounding Sophia as far as I know. It's just very neutral and it's authentic to what she does because the whole joke is that she melted all her lipsticks together. So to actually create a lipstick that she can sell, that was the actual color from what she made in that experiment I think is quite funny and she came out with six shades in this beautiful matte finish box with the bat because Sophia is like she's into like bat wing types of clothing so she calls herself a bat is actually quite funny her engagement ring that Tyler gave her is like a black stone which aligns with her style and her whole mood which I thought was so sweet is a sleeve that slides out I decided to get the whole collection because ColourPop matte and luxe I what it what is what are these called I decided to get the whole set because in general the ColourPop luxe lipstick are eight dollars each so an amazing formula which I actually really love for a great price individually these cost eight dollars but if you get the set is 46 if you got them individually it'll come to 48 so you're like saving two dollars you know kind of like a train ride here in NYC I love the inside it's like a swirly type of multicolor tie-dye moment so quick details about the product these lipsticks are made in the US of A. They weigh in at 3.5 grams or 0.12 ounces. Because these are made in the USA, I don't know what the details are, but brands don't need to show the suggested shelf life. But generally lipsticks last for a year from opening, from my own experience and seeing that label on my other lipsticks. Now here is the kicker. Look at this bullet design. It has the bats on there, which I think is just so detailed and thoughtful in regards to Sophia and her style and her whole mood. And then you have Sophia and ColourPop on the bottom of the bullet and it's like this gun metal shiny finish chrome feels really heavy it has a magnetic closure 
But what I love about these lipsticks in particular, let me zoom you in a little more. Depending on the color will determine the lining. So this indicates that we have Brucey, which is like this beautiful green shade. And you have the little bats on the actual bullet. I love these lipsticks, everything from the component to the actual lipstick bullet. This is such a thoughtful collection that despite the fact that this came out two months ago, I still wanted to come on here and film because surprisingly, this set is still in stock on ColourPop.com now. There are two shades, I believe, that are not available individually. So maybe you had your eye on a couple and hopefully the swatch video will help you decide if you want to buy one or the set. Huge congratulations to Sophia. I am a fan. I am a fan of her. And on the back of the box, you have all the shades here listed, which I think is really great. So let's start off with, well, you know what? We're gonna start off from the other side. I already tried, I think, three of these shades, but I'm really excited to try like the Berries and the Fred one. This is Bikini Bottom. And I will go on the ColourPop website to get the shade description for you. This is the Cream Luxe Lipstick Formula. You have two here, the cream and the matte. A pinky beige nude and the original Bad Makeup Science shade <laughs> is what she calls her melting all her lipsticks together. If anyone hacks my account, this is the only nude I've ever made. <laughs> Did I mention she's incredibly sarcastic? I love it. I did try on Bikini Bottom, I think two days ago, and I found that it looks best with a liner. I have plenty of favorite liners, but I am going in with the Mel Thompson and Christian Aldette collab liner in Smooches. Definitely a must for me if I am applying something beigey in tone. And here is Bikini Bottom. Perhaps one of the most beautiful nudes I've had on me from ColourPop. Usually when I buy a nude from ColourPop, I always need to adjust the shade a little bit, maybe just wear it on the center of my lip or have to pair it with like a really deep liner. And although I applied smooches, it didn't take much. I just applied the liner and I applied the actual lipstick all over my lip and it doesn't look overly peachy, which sometimes happens to me when I buy something labeled as beige. Sometimes it looks a little too ashy. Sometimes it's just not the right tone. And the actual ColourPop Lux formula is incredibly smooth, very easy to apply. It's still lightweight, it's not heavy on the lip. I freaking love this shade, man. I was actually quite surprised. I thought Bikini Bottom wasn't gonna work out for me. I thought it was gonna be a shade that I was like, I could wear kind of sometimes, or I would have to wear with another lipstick. Not at all, this is like really great. Now, if you wanted to see it with something, let's say like a lighter liner, I have my Pat McGrath Permagel Ultra Lip Liner in Contour, a little lighter than Smooches. I also could pair this with my Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine, another possible lip liner shade to wear with Bikini Bottom. And still, so you see with the lighter lip liner, it's gonna show a little lighter beige, but it's still so pretty. Pretty. I love this color. I was actually, I'm still shocked. I'm still shocked it works out on me. <laughs> so here's Bikini Bottom with Pat McGrath's Ultra Perma Gel Lip Liner in Contour. Definitely will be a staple shade for me going into the new year. Absolutely. Next up, we have Mrs. Norris, a sultry grazy brown. And the lip liner of choice will be Stone from MAC. I'm gonna slap that on real fast. And now going in with Mrs. Norris. And this is a cream finish for the Lux. Isn't this unexpectedly pretty? I was not ready for it. I thought it was gonna look way too cool tone and a little strange but it works. I think you need a little strategy in terms of what you decide to apply on your face, maybe on your eyes. I kept the eyes and generally the contour a little on the cooler side today because I knew I was going to swatch several colors, but I will probably wear something cool with this shade, like the new Natasha Denona Mini. <laughs> I think it's a lot of fun. I think it's different. I think it's different from your typical beige like we just applied. Something away from the neutral or even warm browns. It's an interesting shade, but it works. I think it's really pretty and definitely one of my favorites. Up next is Bury Me in Lipsticks. This is the shade that she created when she melted over 600 of her own lipsticks. And I think definitely inspired the whole collection. In terms of lip liner, I think I'm gonna go in with Nightingale from MAC. It's definitely a little more pinky in tone, but I think when everything is applied together, it will look fine. A universally flattering mauve berry shade and the ultimate 
Bad Makeup Science Experiment. This is the midpoint of over 600 melted lipsticks. This is absolutely gorgeous. I think one of my favorites. I rarely wear berries. It makes me look very mature, very grown and sexy, but I should wear them more often because this color in particular is almost like, it's not red berry, it's more like a purple. It leaves more purple magenta and I prefer that undertone over like a reddish type of berry. This is in the cream formula and the glide on these is extraordinary and for $8 you cannot go wrong. Amazing shade, outstanding color impact and just looks really nice and shiny and smooth on the lip and very easy to apply as well. Nice glide like I said before, an extraordinary color. I think they hit it out of the park with this berry and interesting to know this is what you could potentially get if you melted all your 600 lipsticks. <laughs> Next up we have Fred. Look at the little bats. Look at the little bats and of course you have the red uh, lining here on the bullet. I think this is great. Hello, you're gonna focus on me? Bury Me in Lipsticks is out of stock, unfortunately, but if you wanted to get it in the set, the set is still available. Red is a full-bodied red with a whole bunch of different undertones. It's the Franken Red. Fred for short. I don't know what happened to my cherry. I had a cherry MAC lip liner, which I think will pair perfectly with Fred, but we're gonna go in raw because I don't know where it is. And this is the creme formula. Gorgeous red, can't go wrong. I think this definitely leans a little more well, dare I say, this is actually quite the neutral red. It's very rich in tone. I think it will look beautiful on a very array of skin tones. Incredibly smooth to apply, very easy with the edge of the lipstick. While I understand that it is a new bullet and it makes it easier to do so, I think if you had your favorite lip liner or a lip brush, you'll be able to carve out the edges precisely. Amazing formula. And I think reds, some people rather go satin and some people rather go matte. And it really all depends on you. I love red mattes because I love the finish it has on my lip. But this is a great finish as well. I know it's a cream and so it dries down a little shinier than a matte does but it's still really beautiful and it really brightens up the teeth you know what I mean <laughs> it's a good shade it's a good red it's a good red Sophia yes next up we have screamer which is a matte formula I believe we are looking at four cremes and two mattes out of the whole collection unfortunately screamer is out of stock and this shade is described to be a matte deep burgundy almost black in color eat your heart out or anyone else's heart really <laughs> I can hear her say that She's so crazy. Definitely going in with, let's see for a lip liner. We could go in either with Current from MAC or Night Moth. Night Moth is giving me more of a plum, deep plum, and Current more of like a purple. I think I'm gonna go in with Night Moth because I think that will match up better. I definitely went a little overboard with the lining, but it's fine once again this is a matte formula Ooh, this look how rich this looks. oh yeah wow wow the glide on these is amazing although it's matte it's still very smooth and creamy and it still kind of looks shiny on the lip which i don't mind cleaning up the edges here an amazing color i mean this is like a deep rich burgundy they were not kidding and it's very smooth for matte this is not as matte as the Lisa Eldridge lipstick, which after these swatches, we'll be doing comparison swatches just for you. And timestamps will be down below, as you know, if you just wanted to skip over to that part. But this is just, this is an incredible shade, incredible shade. The depth of color is, I mean, is mind blowing. And the texture itself, the ease of use, the ease of glide, the application, it was just effortless. Now, I'm sorry that I cannot report on the longevity as I have not worn these lipsticks all day as of yet, but I'm definitely gonna do so this week when I go to work tomorrow, just to kind of see how it goes. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I, and I even said when I wore Decadence and Velvet, what is it called? Is Velvet Decadence and, the, no. I'm thinking about Pat McGrath. <laughs> Velvet Decade and the other one that was really rich in color. I definitely have to wear these shades more often. They're just so gorgeous. Huge fan of Screamer. Just put a little concealer just to kind of blot out the redness. Last up, we have Brucey. Brucey's a cool color, man. Brucey is really fun. This is available individually and the shade is described to be a matte sharky blue green color. 
ooh, that's good. That's like one of her things that she says. Welcome to another video. I don't have a Brucey like liner, but I think we'll be okay. And this is also in the matte finish. Like Mrs. Norris, this is unexpectedly a slamming shade. And I believe a little more matte than Screamer. I think this feels, in terms of the glide, the feel, and the finish, it leaves behind. Definitely more matte than Screamer, but it's cool. Like, don't mind that Screamer is not as matte as Brucey. This texture, though, is amazing. It, it applies effortlessly despite the finish being matte. And the color, look at this color. It's so different, but a very unique and a lot of fun. It's like, why not? This reminds me of the shade that released during the Good Sport collection from ColourPop. For the life of me, I don't know where that shade is. <sighs> I should probably find it. Mm. But what I think the difference between that shade and this one is that that shade was a little more green. Because this is a little more teal, I feel it more flattering. Or not, maybe you're like, take that off right now. I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's definitely a conversation starter. It's like, oh, we're wearing those lips today. Yes, in fact, we are. I really like it. I think it's fun. I think Brucey is fun. It's it's definitely, I I I. I definitely think you have to be, again, like Mrs. Norris, a little strategic in terms of what you pair this with, face makeup wise and eye makeup wise. For me, this will be a great wing liner day, or if you wanted to like fully commit and dive in deep, you would do an eye look with these shades, like inspired by this blue, the teal green type of hue the lipstick takes on, on your eyes and just bring it all together. That'll be an impactful look, but I think it'll be really beautiful. But I would definitely just stay neutral on the eyes if you wanted just the lips to be the standout part of the look of the day. This is an incredible collection. I'm not sure if people were talking about this extensively. I didn't even see many videos on it, but I think the curation of shades, the quality, the packaging across the board, excellent, excellent collection amazing thoughtful color curation out of this world texture and performance for eight dollars you can't beat it i quickly wanted to swatch a couple of my favorite nude shades up against bikini bottom if you by chance were curious to know what those look like so this is bikini bottom from sophia color pop this is natasha denona's i need a nude noah crazy how warmer noah looks next to bikini bottom i think bikini bottom has uh, a very cool neutral undertone, which I like despite it being labeled as beige. Velvet Fawn from our girl Lisa Eldridge. Very much more pinky in tone. Michelle from I Need a Nude, again, Natasha Denona. Definitely a little more peachy pinky in tone in comparison to Bikini Bottom. And we have to see Hepburn Honey from Charlotte Tilbury. Still, Bikini Bottom, I think, is the coolest undertone out of all of my favorite current nudes. Sammy is in my backpack, but Sammy definitely is just more brown, which is a different color altogether from Bikini Bottom. Here is Fred, for, again, from Sophia Colourpop. Velvet Ribbon from Lisa Eldridge. You can definitely see it's a little brighter in undertone. This is a little more leaning on the deeper side for sure. Here is Screamer from Sophia. Velvet Midnight was the one I was trying to remember. This one is from Lisa. See how that goes. Lisa is a true matte finish. So it does look a little lighter in comparison to Screamer. Screamer has a little more depth to it, but Velvet Midnight is a gorgeous color. I believe it actually looks richer on the lip than it does in this swatch. Velvet Jazz, also from Lisa, I wanted to compare. This is like the in-between red, so I'm gonna do it right next to Sophia's. I believe this is the one that closely relates, but doesn't isn't that crazy that Velvet Jazz from Lisa's makes the one from Sophia look a little more like almost pinky in tone. And of course, Velvet Decade, which is Lisa's chocolate brown shade. Definitely a different color altogether. And you see that Screamer is just deeper, richer in a burgundy shade. And Velvet Morning, which is Lisa's like beautiful bright red orange color that this is very new i have to make sure that i'm not going to i'm being very gentle here i don't want this bullet to break 
because it already broke on me. It's a different color altogether. This is definitely more orange in tone, whereas this one from Sophia is like a richer, deeper red. Hopefully this video will help friends. If you were wondering about the shades from Sophia's collection, let me know if you picked up the collection or any of the single lipsticks. If you were thinking about buying the collection, I highly recommend it. If you're into color, if you're into different uh, undertones that you would not usually wear on the daily, I think it's a really fun curation of shades. The quality is top notch. I love how each of these lipsticks applied on my lips. I just love the richness in tone and the whole collection in terms of the design and the thoughtfulness behind it. I feel it's just worth getting for me. I, I understand that we're trying collectively to buy less in 2020, but in terms of ColourPop and everything they came out with out of the year, I think this is one of the more standout collaborations and products that they released. And until then, friends, that is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another review, tutorial, swatch video, get ready with me or favorites list. Take care and I'll see you again soon.